running for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog podcast, this time discussing main range release number 211, and you will obey me. Yes, with a title like that, you've got the master on the cards, really, haven't you? It's fairly obvious, let's face it, he's on the cover. And it's Zombievers, as some people so lovely put it. Yes, Jeffrey Beaver's master, the sort of default, falling apart, desiccated master. Now, Jeffrey Beavers does have, by far, the best master voice going. And he is, by all descriptions, evil. The guy does evil things because he can, just to distract himself from his imminent demise. He's constantly trying to survive. Story opens with the grandfather clock. Up for auction. And the fifth doctor bidding with money he simply doesn't have. Tell you what, let's have a read of the synopsis before we go any further. The Master wandered for crimes without number across five galaxies. The Master escaped his pursuer's last known location, rural Hexford, England, Earth. The Master, dead and buried in an unmourned grave in a lonely churchyard. Apparently. You see, the problem is with this story and with the next two, because let's face it, this is a trilogy. The fifth Doctor's in this one, the sixth Doctor in the next one, and the seventh Doctor in the following one. And this is the multiple Master trilogy. The chances are we're going to end up with a two Masters story, or even a three Masters story later on. And it's about time we had that sort of thing. It's the sort of thing that we fans have been wanting for a while, but of course all we want is, we want lots of masters in the same story, as opposed to going, what we think is that the master should meet the other master in this particular scenario and give anyone an actual story. All we want is lots of things. We have that feeling of entitlement that we really shouldn't have. But that's another story for another time. What I want to do tonight is tell you all about this particular story, because it's great. Yes, the last trilogy have been brilliant, and we are, well, we're Nyssa and Teganless. They've been dropped off somewhere in 1982, and now it's 2016-ish. So we've got the Doctor. We've got Peter Davison playing the Doctor. Jeffrey Beavers playing the Master. But then you've got... Lots and lots and lots of other characters. Almost to a point where you're going, so who's this now? But that so rarely happens. And in a cast of this size, that's brilliant writing to be able to pull that off. Jamie Anderson's direction is going from strength to strength. He's proving that he is a very good director in completely his own right. Any family connections only get you through the door. Talent will keep you there. And that is what he's demonstrating in spades. Now there's a new thing happening at Big Finish, and it's worthy of mention. The title is being released in April 2016, but it's only going to be exclusively available to buy from the Big Finish website until the 31st of May 2016. And then it's going to be on general sale after that. So if you want this story, you have to go there and get it. As a marketing ploy, it's genius. I'm not sure whether it'll help or whether it'll hinder, but it is worth worthy of trying. It's nice that they're constantly moving and trying new things. It's not like the story isn't available, but if you want it now, that's where you're going to have to go. And trust me, you do want this now. It's a very good beginning of an arc. You get to see the master being the master, but you also get to see a different angle. You get to see impact. 
the sort of thing that the new Doctor Who series has been dealing with in spades, but the classic series, well, avoided left, right and centre. I don't want to give any more spoilers away, because the story unfolds slowly, steadily and interestingly. And if I start talking about the effects of certain characters on other certain characters, well, that's just going to give away too much. So perhaps I'll do some sort of retrospective this time next year where I can look back at all three stories and the way they interlock. But I just can't do that right now. Yes, where this story fits chronologically and where the others will fit chronologically is beyond me. For example, it's the McQueen Master next time with the Sixth Doctor. And of course, the Seventh Doctor doesn't recognise him when he's in Unit Dominion, which is Brilliant, by the way. McQueen's Master is just so good. So how all of these stories fit and how they all interlock into the larger canon either means A, you're going to ignore things, and let's face it, this is Big Finish, we don't do that round here, or B, we don't do that round here, this is Big Finish, we're going to take care of it. Trust us. And I'm, for one, um, with trusting Big Finish. I truly am. So a brilliant story, a brilliant addition to the to the whole of the main range, and I would totally recommend that this story go on. So with that, I'll fade away and let you get on with the rest of your lives. So until next time, well, I'll probably be talking about Doctor Who. Be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Lot 41, ladies and gentlemen. Quiet, please. That's why I'm after two. Really? Why? You came here for the clock, didn't you? I read about Mikey. But then when I saw the clock was up for auction, I thought, well, the same as you, I guess. Dragon Master, there is a creature here with a staser gun. Wait a minute. When was this? 1984, obviously. We do not trust Time Lords. What are you going to do? Fly me there? <laughs> Obey me. Obey. Doctor Who, and you will obey me. What fun we shall have. <laughs> Big finish. We love stories. <laughs>That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog? Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance.